Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to some more GTA 5. I just went ahead and stopped over at the ammunition there, got myself all stocked up on weapons and some ammo. Let's get this party started. I went ahead and cut out a bunch of driving. There was a ton of driving to get to where I was at, so <laughs> figured I'd cut that out for you guys. Hello there. All right, here we go. I miss you already. What the f word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my g damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, boy! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Can I come in? Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, <laughs> okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Oh my god. Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> Mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Whoa. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. Okay, interesting enough. Go to the strip club. <laughs> I could run in and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, what have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah, syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but but it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year, I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and and you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? 
the last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. <laughs> here we are. What do you think? So, this is where Floyd is going to meet us, your strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. I wonder what the heck that means. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I want to know what that means. I guess he's purchasing the vanilla unicorn. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah. I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Okay. Mission passed. Complete. Let's move on. What the heck kind of rims are on my car? <laughs> I don't even want to know what that is about, in all honesty. Hello. IT guy. What's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. Whoa! That was close. Who wants to take the long way? I'm gonna just go four wheel in here if I can. I didn't feel like going all the way around. Shut up. It's just a few street signs. The city can clean that up. In the heck my boy Mike good to see you what's up buddy sobriety is fucking bored I feel you I lost count of how many boobies I seen I ain't got no beef with you the intellectual thug is victorious are we supposed to be like in here or outside. You want a private dance or what? No, thank you. You want me to get naked for you? 
You serious, bro? Oh, these are like private dance rooms and stuff back here. Okay, what about back this way? I think this is where we're supposed to be going, is in here. Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Oh, snap. That's why the fridge is broken. <laughs> Come in, you there? All right, we're on a strict schedule. And there's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15.30. And Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. No way! That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man. Getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, what's up? All right, so let's go check hey, out the back door. I it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Clockwork, Mikey. Like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I could help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Busting Brad out of the clink. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. I have a bad, bad, bad feeling about how this is all gonna end, guys. I have a feeling that 
Oh, look at this slick little cop guy up here on the dirt. Wow, look at you sneaking up here like that. Yeah, as I was saying, I have a bad feeling that this is all going to go down real, real bad towards the end. Whoa! 13.30. We're an hour down, two to go. Honestly, You're another helicopter. talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on! Mike's observations fit with your scheme so far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good boy. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. I'm kind of glad I steered when I did. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. I have a feeling I know exactly who he's got in mind. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with him, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need to stay with him and find a place to ambush! What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. Alright, so where's a good place to go then? I don't even want to know. We need to be closer. I've lost sight of them. Think they might be in the tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Now, go around. I was hoping 
Just like that. Back out in the open. It'll need to be a quick turnaround, but you can take them in there. I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're going to need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! Okay. There you go. Now just hover here. Looks pretty feasible. No steel supports. Lots of clear space. Hold it. Looks steady enough on that bedrock. All right. I think I've got everything I need to make some plans. All right, to the airfield we go. Yeah, I don't think that would be the uh, the right way to do it. Let's just go ahead and land this puppy down here. Ideas. It's going to take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. We'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. Okay. All right, so... Now he's wanting us to talk to Michael, huh? Well, shall we? Let's just take the helicopter, shall we? I think that'll be a lot easier.
I think this is a much easier mode of transportation, don't you? Other than that mountain we're about to run into. There we go. Up and over we go. That's all I need to do is crash this thing. Looks like Michael is right here. We're just going to go ahead and land this right here in the street. No problem at all. There we go. Okay, guys. You just go around my helicopter, please. Thank you. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <sighs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. <sighs> Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I don't know. No. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you... You're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend, bam. No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right? This is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare. Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats. Man, let me just ask you something. All right, something I've been I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! No, oh, here he goes again. <laughs> Why 
Where'd my helicopter go, man? I could have just flew there. Fuck you! Hey, come on, where you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh, no. No, it's clear and reason thought. Finally! Come on, come back, we'll talk! I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Ooh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up. I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, player, right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael. I have a feeling that Brad is buried up there and he's not really in jail. Trevor? It's great to, uh. They're a plane I can use. Get me across country. Sure. Sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. There's always something wrong with that job. What went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe fucking... Fucking play circus! Idiot, idiot! Idiot! I'm sorry, Trevor. Yep, I told you guys, I think something bad's about to happen here. I like how he just took his, uh, his car. All right, <clears throat> let's, let's do this. I guess we're taking a plane ride to the border. I have a feeling Trevor's gonna find something out he doesn't wanna know in all honesty. And it's starting to rain again, so it's going to get windy up here. And this plane, like, bounces everywhere. I need to get around this mountain is what I need to do. Uh, 
I don't know. <clears throat> Mark my words. Bad feelings, I tell you. There's some Chinese guys asking where I'm flying. Great. I'm leaving. That's where I'm going. Whoa. That was some amazing lightning. This plane is getting knocked around pretty bad up here, though. He really did just freaking fly across country, didn't he? <laughs> Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. <laughs> Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! Oh, snap. I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger. What in the heck are we doing? You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend. Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Get in the car. Time to go. Oh my god. Time to get to a bigger and better weapon here. Ah, you want a boyfriend, huh? Go Trevor, you dick. You're on ice, Frick. I ain't got any 
anything against you people! You're out of your element! You don't want to die! He's getting away! Okay, we gotta go. This is how many guys you send to kill Trevor Phillips? Hey, go fuck yourself! You should have gone after the other guy. Oh, I guess I skipped through the shooting part. Trevor. Fuck! You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Oh my god, are you seriously going to make me fly all the way back? Again? This game really hates me today. I can't even, like, how do you bring out the, the landing gear? Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son Tao. Oh yeah, massive E head. Backed out a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. We've been watching you, Phillips. Your operations causes problems with our plans for expansion. And since you're not a viable business partner, oh, viable? What the fuck is that? We have your lover, Phillips, from the trailer. My lover. Yes, Michael DeSanta. You live with him with your maid. He's in our custody now. Give yourself up and he will live. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, yeah. No, of course, man. That's a that's a tough break. Uh, look, you guys deserve each other. Hold on to that fat traitor. And feel free to torture him to your heart's content. You'll save me the trouble. There's no landing gears out, man. How do I get the landing gears out? I just want to get the landing gears out. That's it. Just the landing gears. Jeez. Yeah, that thing just got destroyed. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to pull the landing gears out of that thing. I was pushing every button, but nothing was happening. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time.